Skip it up and that up. I am now going to perform the realest AMD versus Intel benchmark you have ever seen. I'm not going to do a thousand synthetic benchmarks. I'm not going to play 30 different video games on my computer, which are 90% GPU based anyway. I'm going to do something. Wait for it. It's a shocker that you would do in the real world on your computers, like render video. Now, right now, I'm sitting in front of Sony Vegas 10, 64-bit, and I'm on my i7 rig right now. This is a Core i7, um, Ivy Bridge, 3770K CPU. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM in this computer, 3 terabytes of storage, and a 120 gigabyte solid-state drive and a GTX 570 video card, which pretty much all of that, minus the RAM and the CPU, don't mean anything for this benchmark. I'm rendering it to a uh, standard hard drive because my AMD rig also has a standard hard drive to be fair, so there's no advantages in either corner. So I'm gonna render it on here first, let it go through and it'll show me the elapsed time, how long it took for it to render this 1080p MP4 format video. And I will do the same exact video on the AMD rig, which has an AMD Phenom 2 X6 1045T, also running Vegas 1064 bit and render it with the same settings. I'm rendering this video in MP4, uh, 1080p. I'm going to do the same thing on the other rig, and we'll see how much of a speed difference there is between the i7 and the AMD Phenom 2 1045T 6-core processor. Let's start this benchmark and see the results. Now, here is my AMD rig. Like I just said before, it's an AMD Phenom 2 X6 1045T. This was in the top, this was the entry level six core processor and AMD's top of the line chips back, I believe, in like 2010, late 2010. Eight gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 megahertz memory, 750 gigabytes, 7200 RPM hard drive, uh, AMD Radeon HD R6770, and a gigabyte motherboard. Now, I'm looking at elapsed time right now. And it's saying actually pretty much the same exact time as you. Now you can't go by the approximate time left. Um, you have to go, it actually, when it's all said and done, shows you how long it took. Once again, this is Sony Vegas Pro 10, 64 bit, exact same software, exact same video file it's rendering, and it's rendering the video in the exact same MP4 1080p format. Uh, once both of these are done, I will give you the results and see if there's that big of a difference between the Core i7 and a two-year-old AMD 6-core processor. I don't know if there's going to be or not. I I'm not trying to defend AMD or defend Intel with this. I'm just interested to see. There better be a huge difference or I'm going to be royally pissed off. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so my Intel rig is done rendering the video. Now, I started the test on the um, other machine, the AMD 6-core machine later, but there's still the elapsed time, which counts down to the second in Vegas, how long it took to render. It took 10 minutes. Don't know if you can see that, but I'll say it to you. It took 10 minutes and 51 seconds. Once the AMD rig is done, I'll show you how long the elapsed time was on there, and then I will give you my final thoughts. Okay. So I'm in front of the AMD rig now. It just finished rendering the same exact file, same exact software, same exact settings. Everything is a mirror image of what I did on the Intel rig. Um, now you're expecting there to be like double the render time on the i7 rig, right? You're expecting it to be like six minutes as opposed to like, you know, 15 on the AMD because AMD is so much slower, right? Now keep in mind, that i7 is, as of now, I know they're coming out with new processors relatively soon, that's their mid-range of their newest offering, Ivy Bridge. It's the Core i7, it's hyper-threaded, every tech reviewer out there swears up and down. This is an AMD Phenom 2, it's from two years ago. You know, this isn't a bulldozer, this isn't a pile driver, this is... In the PC world, ancient dog shits. You expect this to be like 20 minutes. It probably took forever compared to the Intel rig, right? How about just a minute and 24 seconds? The Intel rig took 10 minutes and 51 seconds to render that video. This machine, is, which is considered a budget garbage machine, took 12 minutes and 16 seconds. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> 
I, I, I look, I, when I, I've been on the fence about going over to Intel probably since the first generation of the Core I, Core series, the i7, not, not Core 2 Duo and all that crap, because I was really happy with AMD back then, but like the Core i7, the original one, before Sandy Bridge, you know, and I, I've been thinking about going over to Intel because everyone's like, oh my god, the grass is so much greener on the other side, you know, applications run so much quicker, this runs so much quicker, that runs so much quicker, games run better. And I've been using this thing, man, for the past week a lot, my, my new Intel, and I am not impressed at all. Um, it is slightly faster. Um, video inside of uh, Vegas runs a little smoother. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm shaving a minute off of my rendering times. I, I just, games, you know, they run just fine on this rig too with a budget card in it. What did I spend? I could have spent the money on so many other things. And you know what bothers me? There is actually a lawsuit that was happening or may still be happening that Cinebench, this is why I screw all those artificial BS friggin' benchmarks, actually put code. I just saw this on Logan's video. I, I, if I remember the video, which I probably won't because I'm an idiot, I'll put it down below, where Cinebench was putting code in their software to let the software know if you're using an AMD processor and it would purposely render slower to trick people to thinking the Intel processors were faster. Now, yes, this is the same guy that made the whole AMD is now crap video. But after using the Intel Pro, having it in my house and having it in my hands, metaphorically, not really in my hands except when I was installing it, and really having a hands-on experience with it, it's meh. They just, I, I really think they're buying out reviewers and they have, this is an ancient processor. This isn't even pile driver or bulldozer. You would expect the Intel processor to just destroy this thing. And all I'm getting is like a minute and 24 seconds faster rendering time on my Intel Core i7 rig. I ran Prime 95 in it, the processor's rock stable, the RAM is fine, I ran a memory test on my RAM in there, even though I had that RAM for a while, um, I just ran it again. The machine is rock solid in there, there's no physical issues, that would be slowing it down, there's no viruses on either of these machines, that would give like maybe the AMD an unfair advantage. I bought into the hype, don't buy into the same thing. Save yourself the money and buy AMD. I was wrong, and I'm admitting it. Have a good night.